Yo, what's up YouTube? Guess what? We're back. It's Tuesday. <laughs> that means that what? We dropped down some new episodes for Love Island season three. I think we're on day seven, which means like the season's halfway over now, which stinks because I'm really finally starting to enjoy it. I think we need a little bit more drama, but I feel it coming. I feel it. Um, yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Continue to like, comment, and subscribe. I love reading your comments about what your experience is, is throughout this game series. If you haven't noticed, I'm back home now. We had to get 24-7 care for my grandmother, which is sad. It was really hard for me on me. I haven't really been sleeping very well, waking up probably every hour at least in the nighttime and then staying up throughout the day just because I didn't feel um, comfortable taking a nap because I was worried about her. Um, but yeah, I always want to be an open book with people and as we kind of keep going through this YouTube journey, I'll share more about my life and what I've gone through to where I am today. So without further ado, <laughs> let's hop right in. It is Tuesday. I'm so excited. Last time we left off, Ty chose us at the recoupling and then behind closed doors, Harry and Ty were like full on arguing. So right now we're kind of in this weird love triangle even though we told harry like we're done with you so let's see what happens <laughs> this one's called bottomless brunch it's the morning after the big recoupling which is true i'm so excited and remember ty and Thatella. things got heated i'm talking like Ty knew what he was doing because Thotella was moaning and you know when she was messing with Harry only Harry was moaning so big things were happening when we coupled up with Ty so I'm kind of over Harry but I'm open to like hearing what you guys think I just don't like someone that seems a little bit desperate I don't know it's the morning after yesterday's recoupling Thotella is all snuggled up in bed you wake slowly, a light breeze is playing over your skin. She's like, hey, who stole the duvet? Oh, is Ty a, a stealer, a blanket stealer? When you peek over the edge of the bed, the duvet is like folded very neatly. That's kind of weird. <laughs> How did it get there? Someone's folded it up. Or maybe Ty's up already. Oh, good thing Ty's so warm. So maybe Ty's still in bed. Hold on. As you stretch, you remember last night and Ty's soft hands running over your skin. Yes, Tatella, never forget that man knew what he was doing with his hands. And if you remember, she kept saying, oh, he's got the mo, what did she say? He's, she's, he's got the stamina to match it. <sighs> she said, I wonder if he'll be up to doing it again sometime. Oh, Thotella, you naughty thing. So Ty stirs and murmurs. He blinks himself awake and gives us a sleepy smile. I think we hit the jackpot, guys. His dark gaze is warm and slightly friendly. Well, slightly. <laughs> His dark gaze is warm and friendly. Your face was the first thing I saw. I call that a good sign for the day. All right. The others are gonna be up soon, but maybe I could take a little more time in bed with Ty. Let's go ahead and let's snuggle with him. Snuggle on up, girl. With the duvet on the floor, it's so cold. He raises an eyebrow. Ty wraps his arms around you. His skin is warm against yours. So we're like snuggling up with Ty. After a few minutes, he starts moving around. He says, let me get you a cup of tea. Oh my gosh. So again, have we hit the jackpot? I mean, he's already waking up. He's getting us our cup of tea. He bounces up in the morning and wanders off to the kitchen. I mean, stop. Thotella stretches out luxuriously. She's like, now this is good. I could get used to being waited on. From the bathroom, you hear a yelp. Where's my pajamas? Oh God. So the shower's still running when you go to investigate. Seb opens the bathroom door with a crack. His hair is dripping wet. Seb, are you? Where's your towel? Seb looks down and winces. <laughs> Look at these graphics. He says, I could have sworn I brought pajamas in. So Teb, Seb doesn't have his pajamas. Oh, and the towels are over by the beds. Okay, so he doesn't have a towel. Poor guy. I had a song in my head and must have just got distracted. He says, Thotella, you have to help me. Can you grab me a towel? Seb wants me to get him a towel. Let's tell him, tell me a secret and then you can get the towel. So you nip across the bedroom, you pick up a towel. That's the one. Can you... And Thotella's like, no, or maybe I should make you work for it. Yes. 
get that secret out of him. Tell me a secret and I'll bring it over. So Seb sighs. He's like, you sneaky soul, Thotella. Hell yeah. He's like, I respect that. Tell me something good, Seb. All right, I saw Nikki giving Ella Dean a foot massage yesterday. That's not a secret. We already know that Nikki and Ella Dean love each other. Not love, but you know, they like each other a lot. He says, and you know what that means. Oh, I know that what that means. That means toe sucking. He says they're basically married. I don't think we're gonna get that kind of tea. I we're gonna get something more exciting, like, oh, I overheard Ella Dean was talking about how she wanted to get it on with Bill. Like, come on, and give me some scoop. So AJ's jogging over from the gym. Her cheeks are a bit pink and her hair is is kind of rough. She's carrying a bundle of clothes. She says she was doing some stretches outside and I found these out on the lawn. Weird. So our blanket has been folded. Seb's PJs were out in the lawn, which is weird. The rest of the Islanders are starting to move and Ty brings us that cup of tea just the way we like it. He says, enjoy. You sip the tea, enjoying the warmth spreading through your body. So Nikki wakes up. He says, I'm starved. Camillo, mate, you know how you're a cooking legend. He puts on these puppy dog eyes. <laughs> I see where this is going. You couldn't make us a bit of breakfast, could you? Oh goodness. Iona's like, go on, show them what you're made of. I bet you'll knock it out the park. Okay, so Iona's like boosting up her man. Camilla's like, since you asked so nicely, I am a legend at whisking. It's all in the wrist, just the flick of the wrist. Thotel's like, have you had a lot of practice? And he says, wouldn't you like to know? That's kind of weird. He says, Thotella, you want to help? I could do with the snack. So why the hell is Camillo trying to have this one-on-one -on -one time when he's with Iona? This is my chance to have some real quality time with Camilla without anyone else around. Should I help Camilla make breakfast? I don't think so. Because Thotella's already been way too messy. Way too messy. I'm talking like messing with Kieran, messing with AJ, messing with Yasmin, messing with Ty, messing with Harry, messing with Bill, messing with Kim. I mean, she messed with the whole damn household. We, we gotta get kind of, I don't know, we gotta get it together. Okay, so I would happily eat any of Camilla's pancakes, even the testers. Seriously, no one brought me any breakfast today. Should I be worried? So everyone's cheering as Camilla brings out these glorious pancakes. Ty says, do you want to sit here, Thotella? Okay, so look at him. As you consider, Harry meets your eye and smiles. Who should I eat breakfast with? We're gonna eat breakfast with Ty because we're coupled up with him. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Absolutely, I live for breakfast. And it feels great spending it with you. Okay. He says, I love these bananas, they're amazing. He picks one of the bananas and offers it to us. Okay, I'll take a banana. Mm, Ty's offering me bananas. I should. We're gonna eat it flirtily. She's probably just gonna like deep throat the banana. <laughs> As you nibble the fruit, your tongue brushes against his fingers. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thotella is such a thought. His breath hitches and he bites his lip. Around the day beds, everything falls silent as the islanders tuck in. It's rare that everyone's this quiet. So while we relax, Nikki comes over. Things changed a lot last night. What's going on with Harry? Why is everybody so worried about Harry? Nikki's asking how about I f how I feel about the recoupling. I'm gonna say I'm really into Ty. Being coupled up with Ty is amazing. He says it's good you're getting along. Wonder what Harry thinks about it. I mean, I heard him arguing. It's like you're in a love triangle. Ugh, great. He says, this is totally a situation my sister would get into. Or one of those books, you know, the series where she has to decide between the werewolf or the vampire. I just want you to know that if that's the case, um, I'm choosing the werewolf. <laughs> if it's a vampire werewolf love triangle. Rugged, outdoorsy, they're buff. What's not to love? The smell of wet dog. It's true. He says, here's something. I was wondering, how did last night go? You know, with Ty, 
how did last night go? I'm gonna say we had some fun. If you're asking if anything happened, I can definitely say it did. <laughs> He's like, it did? In the same room as everyone else? Come to think of it, I did hear some creaking. Ooh, but I thought it was the window. You stretch out on the day bed, watching the sky. Nikki sighs. Um, we should probably get changed. Can't be in our PJs all day. A burst of laughter erupts as you arrive in the dressing room. Oh, so Iona and Mickey are talking. And you know when these two girls talk, we don't know what the heck they're talking about. Oh, so they're talking about Bill and Camillo. She said Bill didn't even complain about her taking photos of the food last night. At dinner? She's like, of dinner. To post once I'm out. Fatella. I know things aren't necessarily how you'd like them to be. Who said that? But I wanted to say, I know Bill will wait for you if you want him to. What? Are you serious right now? So now we've gone from a love triangle to a love freaking square. Because now we have Bill, Harry, and, oh my gosh. I wonder if Mickey and Bill will last. I'm going to say I don't think they're suited. I feel like Mickey's a bit refined for Bill. I couldn't see him throwing out his ketchup, even if she wanted him to. Mickey says, did you hear people arguing last night? Nope, I was chatting with Genevieve. Apparently, Harry's quite funny when you get to know him. Wonder what the people in here were arguing about, though. They're talking about the argument I heard between Ty and Harry. Let's, let's just tell them. It was Harry and Ty. They're arguing about me. There's a brief pause before Iona dramatically sighs. Not gonna lie, I am well into Camillo. Good for you, girl. She says, but Thotella, I know he's into you too. <sighs> My gosh. Oh. <sighs> what a mess. So now we've gone from a love square to now a love pentagon. She says that I don't want to get between you. What the hell is going on right now? Anyway, Camilla was really sweet last night. He said he respects you too much to cheat on you and he'll wait for you if that's what you want. What? What? <laughs> she says you've got a keeper there. What is going on? I'm gonna say she thinks Camilla will wait for me. I'm gonna say you're sweet too. She says you've got nothing to worry about over here, babe. Oh my gosh. Iona wanders into the bathroom to spray her hair. <sighs> I should get ready for the day. This is my chance to look my best. What a mess. Oh, did you see that new bathing suit? I like that red, but I do like that one too. Um, let's do the red one. Did you hear creaking in the bedroom last night? I wonder if anyone was getting naughty. I am not even gonna mess with Mickey. She feels like she would run her mouth just do 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 do. I'm gonna say it was one of the other couples. Oh, Mickey says, it's me. Guys, I have a text. Ella Dean comes running in. She's like, who's got a text? Everyone piles into the dressing room while Mickey reads the text. It says, girls, as a reward for successfully completing that secret mission, the villa is going to be treated to a luxury treat. Put on your aprons and grab those spatulas. It's barbecue time. Hashtag time to catch up. Hashtag mushroom mayhem. Hashtag pull that pork. So we're going to have to like pull it together for Ty to make sure we don't like fuck this up. So that tells like a barbecue lunch. That'll be, that'll be barbecued. That's kind of funny. So this was the first episode of day seven. We spilled the beans to Nikki, who's supposed to be our BFF that we hooked up with Ty. I wasn't about to tell Mickey cause I don't really mess with Mickey like that. Um, let's see, we told the girls something. We told them that the boys were fighting over us. And then come to find out Bill and Camillo are still interested in us. Which is interesting because I was feeling Bill. I mean, don't get me wrong. Bill is a fine piece of something. But I don't like when he can be like mean and like nippy. And that he always just likes to argue with people. Like that just seems annoying to me. <sighs> Camillo. I just stopped thinking about Camillo. Like after Iona went and snatched him up. I was like, bye Camillo. And then Ty walked in and we just heads were turned. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to keep playing. I think... I'm going to do my best to try to upload another video for you guys, but I am exhausted. Um, please continue to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, please check out Love Island Season 2, The Shady Version. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace.